So Jean Morton Cudahy, daughter of Joy Morton, actually hired May Watts to lead the education program starting in the late 1930s. Mrs. Watts, I tend to think of her as a gardener. Um, she created the program, she planted those all important seeds, she nurtured it, she allowed it to flourish, and now we're seeing students of all ages gravitating to the Arboretum, coming to learn about the natural world. Dad all watched together after supper. Friday nights this past winter brought Mrs. May Watts, one of the country's top naturalists, to help us see things in the landscape around us that we'd never appreciated before. With a little bit of chaffy material at the base into a package of a certain number. Five in a bundle, says white pine tree. an abandoned railroad and she had a vision when she saw that. It developed into the Illinois Prairie Path and now it's over 61 miles connecting northern Illinois communities to each other. Meet Tileguard Watts had a strong environmental ethic um, but she wasn't um, just leading and expecting people to follow her. She walked alongside people. She connected with people and allowed them to recognize that they're part of this natural world. And it's something that even then and today still needs to be preserved and protected. <laughs> 